from Rock Springs. Um, I uh, started fly fishing about five years ago. Um, we were, I was with my dad at our cabin up in Pinedale and we were cleaning out one of the sheds and there was an old bamboo fly rod in there. And we were just kind of messing around with it and I put, we put it together and I mean it had crazy old like automatic reel on it and everything. And I kind of instantly just found like some joy from that. The next day I went down to the local fly shop and um, thought about renting a fly rod, you know, one from this century. <laughs> and um, they, uh, they were telling me about this Orvis setup and they're like, you know, if you're gonna get into this, you might as well just invest in one. And so I ended up buying a, a rod that day, um, putting it together and kind of the rest was history there. So I lived in Laramie for about 15 years. I went to college at University of Wyoming. Um, when I started fly fishing, um, some friends that live up here in Casper um, kind of reached out and invited me to come up. And so I just sort of um, kind of got more familiar with the rivers up here. It was a huge challenge. The river is so much more technical. Nymphing versus streamer fishing. Um, it's just a lot more thought has to go into what you're doing and, and, and it's definitely more of a challenge than, than what I was used to. So it's been really fun for me um, just learning that more than anything. It's awesome to be close to the tailwaters, you know, and be able to fish in this area. Your whole demeanor changes when you're out there. You just feel lighter, and it's, it's a pretty special spot. <clears throat> we like to keep it a secret, but at the same time, it's like, it's such a gem, you know? I mean, people always ask, like, how do you like Casper? How do you like living in Casper? And it's like, you know, you have some of the best fishing anywhere you could go, you know? right here at our toes, like, it's pretty awesome. <laughs>